So what do you think made you persevere with the instrument? I mean, often it's something that seems to me when I talk to accomplished musicians, there's something inside them that makes them just not want to stop what they're doing. Yeah, it's, it's got to be, a, to me, is a soul gratification. It's such a deep, intense uh, sense of joy and happiness that it brought me uh, to uh, physically play drums and do something physically challenging and also to do something mentally challenging and figuring these things out. And once you do it and you learn it and you figure it out, you feel, in a way, like, I'm smart. I can do some things, and I want to do more. I want to learn more. You get hungry for that, knowing that you have the ability to work things out and calculate things and visualize. You have to visualize what the drummer is doing to make that pattern happen. So you got to imagine and visualize what he had to be doing. And sometimes I, I, you know, I didn't know, like, say, on, for instance, what got me the job with uh, the Jacksons on audition was the last song, was the big, biggest challenge they thought I couldn't do. Let's shake your body down to the ground. I, um, I learned that beat because I listened to, like I told you, where what happened when, and this hand had to cross here, and had to come back here really fast to make the other beat from the full time. Come to find out when I auditioned, they stopped and they were looking at me, and it's like, we're well, puzzling, and they start doing like this and whispering to each other. I'm like, oh man, I'm blowing it. I, they, don't, they don't like what I'm doing, that's not right. And But comes out, turn to uh, come, turns out that they, they realized, and they made me realize that that track on Shake Your Body Down to the Ground was a three-part overdub. The drummer couldn't play it by all at once. <laughs> but out of ignorance of me not knowing, I thought he did it. So if he can do it, I can do that. I just got to figure out what pattern goes when. And I sat there and I figured it out. And so when I started playing that beat, they started getting puzzled. And they, oh my God, and they're looking at each other and like frowning and whispering in each other's ear. Then he starts smiling. I say, they're laughing at me. And then Randy, they stop, 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 stop. And he walked around to the side. I said, what's wrong with them? Doing something wrong? He said, no, no, let me play that again. And I start playing Shake Your Body Down the Ground. And then he, he listened for a while. And he, he grabbed his face like this and said, oh, no, no, no. And he ran off. I said, oh, man, I must be really blowing it. I'm not going to get this gig. <laughs> and then he said, no, don't, don't. Shake it for play it once more time. But this time, play it slow, real slow. So I start playing it real slow. And he's looking, he's he watching out like really intently. And I'm just crossing like I'm supposed to cross when I'm supposed to. And he ran off again like, oh my God. And I said, what's happening, what's wrong? They said, no, Sugar, you don't understand. We couldn't, nobody could do that beat at one time, all at once. That was a three part overdub, three separate tracks. And here you're playing it all at once. But as I mentioned, to go back, what I mentioned is I didn't know that. That's perfect. I saw in my mind this guy doing it all at once. But you know there's it's, a great lesson in there though, right? Because yeah. did you know you were gonna have to audition to that track? Um, it was a hit song at the time. I figured they were going to play it, but I was ready for it. And that's the key, right? And I Preparation. Was I was ready for it. I mean, not planned ready for it, but another reason that made me ready for it was back then I worked for a producer at Alan Toussaint, famous Alan Toussaint Studios, and um, he wanted to rip that song off, and he basically did. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he had me play it for an artist he was producing down there, and I tried to change it up, and he said, no, no, no it's not right. I thought you knew this song. And I said, yes, I do. And I'm thinking, oh, you can't steal a beat. You get in trouble, you go to jail. I was thinking, really, not even instant. And he said, no. I, and, I, and I said, okay, I'll play it right this time. And he pressed the talk back and said, okay, let's go. And I counted off and play it. And I, I said, I can't do it just like the record. I'll get in trouble. I might go. They might pick me up in my house and put me in jail. I thought you'd get arrested for that. I really did. So I would change. I, I would change something else. What am I change? Oh, I'm gonna change the floor time, the time pattern. So I play it again. And he stopped. Stop. 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 And I said, what's wrong? <laughs> he said, that's not it. I thought you knew that beat. I said, I do know it. He said, come on in. Played the song for me. And I said, I know how to do that. He said, why? Well, why are you not playing it like that? I said, because that's stealing. And if you steal, you go to jail. <laughs> and they bust up laughing, the whole studio. So he said, no, tell, if the police comes, tell them I told you to play the beat, I'll go to jail. And I said, okay. <laughs> and I went in there and played it just like the record. And he said, that's it, that's it, that's it. I mean, it's a good job we don't yeah. go to jail for stealing other people's drum. <laughs> I know, so I know. I would have but, been in trouble a long time but ago. But see, that lesson in that is that helped prepare me for that audition as well. I had to learn to be, uh, get it down really close for that, that session. And so that was before I moved to Los Angeles. So that helped prepare me for learning that, that beat and knowing it. So at what stage did you know that music was going to be your life? At nine years old. You know, after I got all my stuff.